sleepwalking demystified. Sleepwalking, also known as somnambulism, is parasomnia or a behavior disorder that occurs when a person is asleep. It results in performing complex behavior such as walking when the body is asleep. Sleepwalking is more common in young children than in adults. It is also more likely to occur if the person has a family history of the condition or is sleep deprived. Accidents such as episodes of minor injuries are often associated with sleepwalking. In most cases, sleepwalking may resolve on its own and intervention isn't required. But if the episodes are intense or frequent, active treatment may be necessary. In today's video, we have discussed everything you need to know about sleepwalking, including some crazy facts about sleepwalking. Keep watching! What are the causes of sleepwalking? Sleep researchers out of the opinion that sleepwalking occurs when the person is in a stage of deep sleep and gets partially awoken. This triggers a kind of physical activity, walking, while remaining mostly asleep. Several factors can influence this partial awakening or sleepwalking. Family History and Genetics According to research, there is a clear pattern in which certain people are predisposed to parasomnias, sleep disorders and particularly sleepwalking. About 61% of children sleepwalk if both their parents do. 47% sleepwalk if either of the parents does and only about 22% of children sleepwalk whose parents have no history of sleepwalking or sleep disorders. Medications Some medications which have a sort of sedative effect may trigger people into a type of deep sleep that increases their chance of sleepwalking. Sleep deprivation Lack of sleep or sleep deprivation is often correlated with an increased chance of sleepwalking. Brain injury Some conditions that affect the brain, including encephalitis or swelling of the brain, may trigger sleepwalking in people. Restless leg syndrome or RLS Restless leg syndrome is a type of sleep disorder that triggers a powerful and uncontrollable urge to move limbs and legs when lying down. RLS can also lead to a sleepwalking episode. Stress and Trauma Several types of stress and trauma can trigger a sleepwalking episode and can cause disturbed or fragmented sleep. Such stress and trauma can be physical or emotional. It can also be related to a sudden change such as traveling somewhere new or sleeping in an unfamiliar place. Alcohol Drinking excessively in the evening can lead to intoxication and instability in a person's sleep schedule and stages and may elevate the risk of sleepwalking. Obstructive Sleep Apnea or OSA Obstructive sleep apnea or OSA is a common sleep disorder. In this case, the airway gets blocked which results in short lapses in breath during sleep. These short lapses can occur a dozen times while sleeping and cause sleep interruptions or disturbed sleep. This may trigger an intense episode of sleepwalking. In most cases, children who sleepwalk may stop sleepwalking as they grow older. In other cases, they may continue to sleepwalk as adults. And even though most sleep disorders such as sleepwalking starts in childhood, it can begin in adulthood as well. Crazy facts about sleepwalking. Number 1. Sleepwalking is more common than you think. Sleepwalking isn't as rare and uncommon as you think. About 40% of children sleepwalk and about 2 to 3% of adults sleepwalk. Number 2. The person doesn't even remember sleepwalking. One often sleeps without realizing it. This is because when you sleepwalk, the hemispheres of the brain that are associated with practice behavior or movement such as walking are awake. But the parts associated with brain function like memory and decision making are asleep. Thus, it is not uncommon for men to urinate in odd places while sleepwalking simply because they aren't awake enough. Number 3. It is okay to wake someone who is sleepwalking. We all have heard that you shouldn't wake or disturb the person who is sleepwalking and that is dangerous. But this is far from true. You can wake someone who is sleepwalking but it may be extremely difficult to do so. Instead, what you should do is gently guide them back to bed. Number 4. Sleepwalking is usually violent or may make you violent. Sleepwalking can indeed be violent. In most cases, Sleepwalkers act out their dreams which can potentially cause harm to others or themselves. In fact, according to studies, violent sleep-related behaviors and movements are common in more than half of sleepwalkers. Number 5. Sleepwalking can make you gain weight. 
As you may already know, a healthy way is indispensable from a proper sleep schedule. Besides, sleep-related eating disorders are common in sleepwalkers. A sleepwalker can walk into the kitchen and make themselves food during the night during sleepwalking, and they may have no memory of doing so in the morning. This can lead to weight gain. Number six, sleepwalking can be a warning sign of Parkinson's disease. In most cases, sleepwalking usually occurs in the first third of the night. And if you sleepwalk late at night and typically sleepwalk with your eyes closed, you could be potentially suffering from REM behavior disorder. REM behavior disorder is linked to neurodegenerative disorders such as Alzheimer's disease and Parkinson's. Thus, if you suspect such a neurodegenerative condition, you should consult a medical professional. They will be able to guide you better and diagnose your condition if necessary. Number seven. Sleepwalking can be prevented. This is absolutely true. There are a number of things you can do to prevent sleepwalking. This includes sticking to a proper sleep schedule, which aims for at least seven to eight hours of sleep every night, practicing good sleep hygiene, avoiding sleep disruptors such as stress or smoking and drinking alcohol. You can also look into the medications you are taking and ask a doctor if your medications are the trigger for your sleepwalking episodes. In short, if your sleepwalking episodes are intense, frequent, and are causing you distress, you should immediately consult a medical professional. If you find this video helpful, subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's all from us today. We want you to know that your voice is important to us. So please leave a comment below. If you are new here, then click the bell icon for notifications of our new videos and subscribe to our channel.